What's going on guys? Welcome back to DCS World. Welcome back aboard the Hornet for another tutorial video. This one's going to be a fun one because we're going to take a look at the Joint Helmet Mounted Queuing System, or Jehemix for short. Now that's a mouthful. What is the Jehemix? Well, put very simply, it is a helmet mounted display, so it is on the visor of your pilot. So if I look around, it, I'm actually looking through it right now, but it's off. What it does is it projects a sort of miniature HUD. So imagine what we see on the HUD here, projected onto my screen, no matter where I'm looking. So how do we turn that on? Well, very simply over here on the right of the front dash, we have a knob labeled HMD for helmet mounted device or helmet mounted display. We just need to rotate this knob to the right. And now if I look left and right, you can actually see what I'm talking about. We have a little bit of the HUD symbology projected onto our display no matter where we're looking. And this is really cool because it allows us to keep tabs on what the airplane is doing because as you can see I have my airspeed, my altitude, alpha, Mach number, and G, as well as my current heading, which is 314, as well as the heading of where I'm actually looking. So if my airplane is at 314 degrees, namely that way, but I'm looking out here, I'm looking at a heading of about 240 degrees. So this is pretty useful in being able to convey really accurate directions to where you're looking. Now that's not all that the Jehemix can do. One of the primary functions of the Jehemix is for high off bore sight targeting of the AIM-9X Sidewinder. Now if you remember from the AIM-9 Sidewinder video, I mentioned the existence of the AIM-9X. The AIM-9X is a much more advanced version of the Sidewinder missile that incorporates a few new functions. It's a lighter missile. It's got exceptionally increased maneuverability thanks to thrust vectoring on the back of it and it also has a much more advanced seeker head that can see up to 80 degrees off of its bore sight so if the bore sight of our aircraft if you remember is looking straight ahead the missile can see almost all the way off to the side it can almost see to our nine o'clock and it can almost see to our three o'clock here not quite because it's not fully 90 degrees, it tops out at about 80 degrees left or right. So let's use these two in conjunction. So let's first, as with before, we're going to get our master arm on. We'll get ourselves into air to air mode. That's automatically selected the sidewinder. As you can see, we have nine X and I've got six of them on the aircraft. And mine is already on, but make sure you go over to the right side and select IR cool switch to the norm position. All right. Now, with the sidewinder selected, if I look left and right, you can see a seeker head circle now floating in the middle of my helmet mounted display. This is an indication for where the AIM-9X's seeker head is now actually looking. So it's actually looking far off to the side and right about there when it sort of falls off of the center of where I'm looking is about the maximum angle that it can look. So right about there is 80 degrees off bore sight to the left and conversely about 80 degrees off bore sight to the right, right about there. You also notice when I look somewhat straight ahead and then I move my head this way, listen for the sound. That very quiet sort of waterfall sound that you hear is an indication to you that the missile has entered high off bore sight mode. The missile is in high off bore sight mode when its seeker is looking outside of 27.7 degrees, correction, 27.5 degrees off of the bore sight of the aircraft. So about there. Listen for it again. About right there is 27.5 degrees 
from Boresight. So that's pretty cool, right? What this enables us to do is, let's say I had a target off to my side right here, I could lock him up and fire a missile at him literally just by looking at him and squeezing the trigger. So combining the Jehemix with the AIM-9X is really, really powerful. Now, one other thing we can do with the Jehemix before we get to shooting some things is we can use the Jehemix in conjunction. In fact, I'm just going to deselect our AIM-9s here for a moment. We can use the Jehemix in conjunction with our ACM radar modes. So let's say I were to select the gun. If you remember from the guns video, the gun automatically selects our ACM radar modes, the air combat maneuvering modes. And if I were to go sensor select switch forward, notice now that on the Jehemix itself, we see the letters HACQ. This stands for helmet acquisition mode. Now, if you remember, normally, when we're looking straight ahead, if we press forward on the sensor select switch, when we're in ACM radar modes, it commands the boresight mode of the radar, denoted by that circle on the HUD. However, with the Jehemix on, if I look to the left or to the right of the HUD, the boresight mode of the radar now starts following where my Jehemix is looking. In effect, the radar is slaved to where my Jehemix is looking. And in fact, if you look at the radar screen down there, it might be a little hard to see as I'm moving my camera around, but you can see the scan line of the radar is actually moving as I move my head around, and so is the antenna's elevation. I can look pretty high up. I can even look down. And pretty much all over the place, and I can use this to visually identify and lock something up with the radar, literally just, move, literally just by moving my head. So that's really, really cool and really, really effective in combat, as you might imagine. A few other things that the Jehemix will be capable of in the future, but it is not capable of right now. The Jehemix will be able to designate targets on the ground. The Jehemix will also be able to command the lightning targeting pod, which we will cover in a later video. But the specific Jehemix functions of the lightning targeting pod are not yet implemented in DCS. Those will be coming in future updates uh, as this module is in early access and in open beta. So stay tuned for those. I know I'm staying tuned for those. But for now, let's unpause the simulation and go test out the AIM-9X as we've been discussing with the Jehemix and maybe even see what the different radar modes look like when we use the ACM modes with the Jehemix. So stand by while I go find some targets. All right, I've got some MiG-29s out in front of me here that are just orbiting, waiting for me to shoot them down. Let's go ahead and use our weapon select switch again to select our sidewinders. And I should note that as with the other sidewinder variants, uh, when you're looking straight ahead, the sidewinder is slave to bore sight and you can shoot it much in the same way that we shot the AIM-9Ms in the previous video. That staccato sound that you hear means that the AIM-9X is seeker. Detect something but can't quite lock it up. And now that we have it within parameters, we could lock it up with just cage on cage, but let's make this a little bit more interesting. There he goes. I can look high off foresight. Lock him up. The higher pitch sound that you hear means that he is locked up in high off foresight mode. And I let him pass me, so let's get him again. All right, there he is. I'm locking him up with the Jehemix and Fox 2. Splash that one. Let's see if we can get one high off bore sight here again. I'm currently merged with a bunch of these targets. Oh, there's one. 
He's going to fly behind us. Let's see if I can get on his tail here. There he is. I want to see if I can demonstrate this missile's ridiculous maneuverability. Alright, he's in high off foresight. He's locked, high off foresight. Let's make it a little bit more exaggerated. That's pretty good. Let's go Fox 2. And there goes the missile. And that's a splash. Let's quickly demonstrate the ACM radar modes with the Jehemix. I've got one more target over here that I'm going to lock up. Oh, found him. Notice how I have the similar symbology on the Jehemix now. I've got a target diamond as well as the ASC circle. And we're just in radar assisted sidewinder locking right now. So same as before, Fox 2. Flash. Let's get rid of that sound. All right, guys, so that's the basics of the AIM-9X, the Jehemix, and some of the different things that it can do, and as well as how ridiculously maneuverable the AIM-9X is. So get out there, have some fun with it. The AIM-9X is a great dogfight missile. It's great to use in a merge, um, and uh, yeah, you're, can be, you can be really deadly with this missile and this uh, helmet system. So Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you for the next video. Take care.